there, my name is Celia Beckham. Do you want to from another planet? Please like, share, subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So, uh, 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 the uh, Doctor Who Festive Special is fast coming upon us, coming over us, I would say. It's uh, jizzing all over us any second, uh, and it's going to, uh, you know, listen. I, I, I've never been on the receiving end of that before, but I imagine I'm going to react to uh, 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 the first special, Revolution of the Daleks. Not Revolution of the Dalek, you bloody idiot, Jody Whittaker. I imagine I'm going to react to Revolution of the Dalek uh, uh, much the same way as this somebody did jizz all over me. So yeah, I, oh, God, oh, it's horrible. Yeah, that's probably how I'm going to react to it. Lest you think I'm going to go, oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, 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 no, <laughs> the rabbi is not into that. So, uh, uh, um, yeah, the other way around. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to be on the receiving end. I don't want to be on the receiving end. That doesn't sound fun. Uh, uh, anyway, it is fast coming upon us, uh, which means uh, a little, Chris, little, little, little Chrissy Chibnall, little Chrissy Chibnall is coming out, out, out hiding again to do a bit of promotion. Uh, aided and abetted by his uh, 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 moronic chilly friend, uh, 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 Hugh Fullerton, at the Radio Times. And they uh, they dropped an article today, which I haven't read yet, but it, it's it's... Then, yeah, yeah. It, it, the article is basically saying, uh, uh, you know that that liberal uh, progressive agenda that you guys have been screaming has been injected into Doctor Who and, and thereby ruining it by taking out any fun and entertainment. Yeah, you know that. And remember when you kept telling us that liberal progressive agenda didn't exist? You remember that? You remember that? Uh, yeah, so now we're saying it completely exists. So that contradicts that, but it also contradicted something else in a week ago when he said, oh yeah, yeah, Dr. Ruth, we just thought of it off the top of our head. Yeah, chits and giggles, mate, chits and giggles, that's what it was. Uh, uh, so I know, these things seem to uh, contradict each other. Maybe we'll deal with it in the article. We're gonna have a read of it together. Maybe a little bit, little bit of a chuckle. I would like to hope so. I would like to hope so. Uh, uh, before we get there, though, can you hit the subscribe button? That would be great. Can you hit the share button? That would be great. Can you hit the, uh, 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 what's the other one button? Like button. That's a good one. Can you hit the like button? That's good. If you subscribe, you get to join. <laughs> Enter my competitions. If I ever give away the freaking prize, I will do it tonight. I got Geek Lord over mine tonight. I got a live stream. It's game being given away tonight. It is Ghostbusters on Blu ray. Freaking awesome copy. Uh, what wonderful transfer. Great, great uh, extras. All you need to do to win it, subscribe to the channel and in the comments, leave the hashtag. Who are you going to call? Go check the video notes. Everything you need to know to win it is right there. Why check the video notes? Of course, you'll see my uh, link to my Indiegogo. Go, go check it out. If you can add your, your email list, that's all I'm asking you for. If you can add your email list to the... Uh, 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 to the side, uh, to to the email list. <laughs> and I'm building up. That would be great. Uh, you get uh, uh, one of these four art cards for free with any purchase if you add your email list, email address to the list. Uh, and it's one of these two f uh, fine, fantastic, wonderful graphic novels. If you buy both of them, you get all four cards anyway. So in that case, we're going to give you a fist chase card. Go go check the link. That'd be really really great. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what's not really really great? One well, is great for me because this is. I wasn't going to do a video today actually. Glad I got a stream this afternoon that I'm going to do. I'm like, ah, Enough. I wanted to actually take some time off. No, I saw this article like, oh, this is a video. This is a video being made. So let's have a look. Doink, over here. Doctor Who boss says he planned uh, Jodie Whittaker's timeless child twist from the start when taking over to it. We know. We know. Yes, we know. We know. It's a, an idiotic idea like that you don't come up with on the fly. You have to build up to it. I, I get the feeling you had this idea when you were like uh, lambasting uh, uh, Pip and Jane Baker and John Nathan Turner uh, for making really boring, predictable, terrible Doctor Who. <laughs> How did that work out for you? Not so good, mate. Not so good. Uh, you know, look, at least they had you know the backbone to uh, uh, you know face the detractors. Unlike you guys, who only do it from uh, you know behind the safety of of uh, uh, was it Hugh Fullerton skirts mainly. So fine. Yes, yes, we understand that terrible idea you had. You had it right from the beginning when you said you're going. Yes, we understand. And, and I have a pretty good idea why you had it. You the idea, the reason you had it is so you could insert uh, people who weren't white men into Doctor Who because you are an idiot that lives in a teeny tiny bubble that's called the Twitter sphere. Um, that uh, that believes that people don't see themselves mirrored uh, in their heroes, they can't relate to that hero. Uh, of course, you're a moron. Of course, you're a moron because uh, uh, obviously you can and you cannot. Now, I, and again, you know, and and so you know, there's all this like disingenuous uh, argument against that, saying, "Well, you don't want to be black heroes on TV. You don't want to." No, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Uh, um, but why don't you just go and make some rather than usurping some, right? You know, again. 
And quite frankly, I, I don't think there'll be... A, a, would there be anybody who had a problem with a black Doctor Who? I don't think so, really. I, I Look, I'm coming from a perspective of somebody who doesn't live in that tiny, insane Twitter sphere. Uh, and I don't deal with racism very often because it doesn't really exist. Uh, racism, a little, let's be honest, racism only really came, became a thing, but it became a terrifying thing in about 2015, 2016, when uh, 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 idiot worthless children... Uh, uh, that live on Twitter wanted to have some form of self worth. They wanted to feel they had to say they have calls to fight for, and they said, "Oh look, that person wants to say they're a woman even though they have a penis." And somebody says, "But, but you have a penis. Let's call them a bigger, and then we can be, you know, we 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 can uh, uh, we can pretend we're fighting racism." And then you know, the, the current president of the United States uh, got voted in, and they all lost their minds. They said, "Oh well, then that only happened because you're all you're all wicked, wicked racist." Uh, and so yeah, so. Uh, uh, yeah, Christian Rohr thought, uh, 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 you know, is of that mindset because he's a moron who doesn't know anything. But let's hear, let's hear it in his own words. When people were having opinions about a first fe about the first female doctor, I thought, well, this is going to be interesting because we haven't even started yet. Yeah, I understand. Uh, uh, honestly, most people weren't having that many opinions. There were a few people who called it completely correctly, by the way. They weren't upset that uh, there, there was a woman playing Doctor Who. They were upset they thought this was indicative of uh, of your production of Doctor Who, uh, throwing aside um, storytelling and, and entertainment uh, uh, in favour of agenda, in favour of... Uh, you know, uh, honestly, I wasn't in that camp. I, I had... Uh, uh, a bit, bit, a bit more. Yeah, you know, I, I don't open mind to it. I think, I think it worked with Missy. Uh, why not? I, and then he made it, and he came out, and it was garbage, utter, utter garbage. Uh, uh, and uh, you confirmed all those people to be a hundred percent correct. That's what really happened, isn't it? But you know, I think the reason, one of the reasons that you, you were, you were looking forward to announcing Jodie Whittaker as a doctor, because then you could uh, find one or two people on Twitter that went, oh, that's a bit weird, uh, and say, ah, we're under attack. And you do like, you know, the Ghostbusters, the female Ghostbusters marketing, uh, which really worked for that first episode, didn't it? Uh, not, not so much subsequently. Um, the Timeless uh, time Children was a massive Doctor Who finale back in finale. No, it wasn't. Uh, 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 a massive Doctor Who finale. Okay, what I think they're doing here, by the way, is they're, 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 I think they're trying to not send uh not give something for the normies to read because they won't read this uh, uh they give something for the the crazes that that like this era and uh, look listen, i know there are people who genuinely like this era but there's a large segment of jody whittaker fans who are uh mentally ill they have some kind of mental illness. i did a video on it this week and they are and then you know the, a group of them got together and said oh we're, we're not mentally ill when we're going to prove it by demonstrating mental illness uh, i'm like uh, okay that's what you want to do um but, you know, uh, they're, what they're really doing is they're trying to create a perception in the minds of the normies that this era of Doctor Who is anything other than a massive failure, right? They're, that That's the, that's the it's it's uh, propaganda, I guess, for, for want, want of a better word. It's, it's developing a narrative, right? And it's a narrative that, that is, is, is beloved by Doctor Who fans. And it's doing quite well. Uh, but that narrative just isn't true. It just isn't true. But I think that's the function of this article, right? Uh, to uh, to subtly in the background of the minds of normies uh, uh, make them think Doctor Who isn't failing under Chris Chibnall. Uh, so, it, yeah, a massive finale. Let's see. Uh, no, it was the lowest rated uh, episode uh, uh, in the modern era. I think the lowest rated episode ever other than two episodes of Battlefield. Uh, in, was it 88, 89? Uh, uh, so massive, uh, mass, a massive failure, maybe a massive commercial and critical failure. That that much we we can agree on. Uh, wasn't massive in any way. Uh, yeah, so uh, it wasn't massive in it popular. But you use that word massive to again to try and uh, um, pull the wall over people's eyes. Uh, changing everything we thought we knew about the BBC sci-fi series and Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. No, I knew Jodie Whittaker's Doctor was shit. I knew it was awful, right? I knew it was absolutely awful. Uh, uh, that, it, I, I'd, I'd left the show by Orphan 55, and that, which was the third episode. Uh, by I, I, afterwards, I just I was just reviewing it for you know for for the channel. Hated every minute of it. I'm like, oh, and I got to review Discovery there as well. Bollocks. Oh god, they just make so much crap. I got to review. Um, 
Right, in a series of twists that's revealed the Doctor's uh, secret series of past lives and her character sent for her on creating the title. Essentially, it was fa a really bad fan fiction that uh, took out all the power from the character, right? Made the character functionally immortal. Uh, yeah, did, did, did so many, so much like damage to it. Uh, instead of like changing Doctor Who, it decanonized itself, right? This is, uh, I, I, I just don't think they can move forward um, with with more of this uh, without like horrendously damaging the brand. Uh, I, I don't know how many people are going to be left after they do, do another series. I really, really don't. It's, it's uh, you know, utter insanity to me. But yeah, so yeah, they made a functionally immortal, and uh, and they managed to uh, dilute all those pesky white men <laughs> who have played the role before. Uh, gradually teased over a course of Whitaker's run. No, 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 no. They mentioned the timeless child uh, once, and how do those bits of bandage, the malevolent bits of bandage, know about it? Who knows? Uh, they know about this secret. Uh, uh, who knows? Yeah, exactly. They mentioned it in her second episode, and then they. Uh, they did what they're saying was a on the on the spur on the fly decision to incorporate a new mystery doctor, Doctor Ruth, uh, in what the fifth sixth episode, uh, and then they dropped everything uh, in the was it the final episode? Yeah, yeah, and this was all, we all knew it was coming. I mean, it was like pretty much spoiled. Uh, so not gradually. Jeez, you you're such a freaking liar. Oh, I'd love to read this article with you. Go, why do you use that word gradually? It doesn't represent reality at all. Um, and of course, we're going to our 13th Doctor. It took a while for the Timeless Child story like, to come to fruition. Yeah, two episodes. Uh, well, really, one, two, one episode and one scene. I, I really is what happened. And the behind the scenes, it was uh, it was in the works for even longer. Well, yeah. We, I, I, again, no one's surprised by this, Hugh, mate. Um, what was it? It was always the plan to do it in the second year, says uh, uh, Doctor Who a head writer and showrunner Chris Jimmer exclusively to the uh, Radio Times because he won't talk to Doctor Who magazine. I don't think many people want to talk to him. Uh, yeah, it was always the idea. I thought the first year, first year, we're going to day, yeah, we're going to bring in a new stunning and brave oh female Doctor. I'm so, I'm so stunning and brave to do it. Oh, I'm the bestest ever. Uh, I'm going to bring a stunning wave, a female doctor, and that'll be enough. We don't need anything else. We don't need stories. We don't need villains. We don't need monsters. No, just a stunning wave woman, and anybody else like it, they're sick of it, and I'm bigot, and we're going to be doing it so bad, yes, we are. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, that, we understand that's your plan, Chrissy, mate. Uh, we understand. Uh, uh, second year, uh, time, revealing that the Timeless Child storyline was set the moment he took over the series and was even included in the initial pitch to senior BBC figures Charlotte Moore and Piers Wenger, uh, Idiot 1 and Idiot 2. Uh, uh, you may think uh, Chris Chimnall is the biggest idiot in the history of idiots. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, his bosses are. Uh, Piers Wenger, now, Piers Wenger uh, uh, is even more like Chris Chimnall. He's like, oh, oh, you're going you're gonna to make the Doctor have have people have be girls? Yeah? And now they're going to have different skin colour. Are you going to have a, a black Doctor? Oh, 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 oh. He said, yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're going to have infinite Doctors and none of them are going to be white men. Oh, Chris Chimnall, Piers Wenger. Oh, that's so good. I'll tell you, I've got to tell you something, uh, uh, Chris Chimnall, says Piers said Piers Wenger. i got to tell you something. What? Well, I'm so excited about this idea. My vagina is getting wet. Really? Said Chris. Because my vagina is getting wet too. Uh, I don't know what Charlotte Moore said. I, I, I wouldn't like, like, yeah, I wouldn't like to comment. But that's basically how the, how the meeting went. Uh, uh, well done. Well done. I knew from the start, Timnall says. Uh, and it was part of what I talked about with Father and Piers. Okay. Here we get it. Okay. Just opening up the mythology to more stories. So, Chrissy, mate, Chrissy, let me ask you a question. Uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who has been said to be, uh, uh, before you arrived, uh, uh, popular, one thing. Uh, that's only it was. Uh, uh, then, you know, after your little involvement, not so much. Uh, yeah, uh, it has been said to be uh, popular, but also, also, uh, basically an infinite format. You can tell pretty much any t any genre or story in Doctor Who, which I think has been pretty much proven, right? You do sci-fi, you can do Western, you can do historical, you can do murder mystery, you can do any kind of type of story. And it, it, it all kind of fits into Doctor Who because that's how malleable uh, and incredibly open the... Uh, uh, 
uh, uh, the mythology is to stories, right? Uh, not enough for you. No, no, no. But there's no stories with black people in the lead. Oh, there's no representation. Oh, you're a racist. I understand. The purpose was to bring narrative opportunity to the most open, flexible format in the history of television. Bring, bring narrative opportunity and to be able to go places that were shut off before now. Where? Where? What was shut off before now? What have you opened up? Uh, I, like, uh, you made the Doctor boring. You made the Doctor infinite. You made the Doctor uh, uh, invincible. You made the Doctor dull. You made, yeah, and weirdly enough, you made your Doctor to be stupid. I, listen, I can understand. I can understand it, really, because, I mean, look, again, look at this picture. We've got uh, uh, Matt Strevens, uh, uh, dickhead number one. We have uh, Chris Chimmel, di di dickhead, uh, dickhead prime, uh, way above dickhead number one. And we have Dodie Whitaker. Uh, it's, it's like, oh, I can't wait to do revolution of the dark. Like, oh, I'm going to be so stunning and brave. Yes, you are going to be stunning and brave. I don't need what you think. But, oh, I'm also stunning and brave. Oh, we're stunning and brave without wet vaginas. Oh, because we're so excited. Uh, yeah, no, the marriage. So what, what stories were closed off? I, 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 I'm going to say the only story that was closed off was stories in which the Doctor... Uh, uh, wasn't the doctor. <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, this person you never heard of before is a doctor. Yeah, we close off that. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, fine. You work. So, uh, 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 how, how's, how did it work out for you there, Chibs? How do it? It was going to be the greatest thing ever. Everyone's going to love it. But, but, Chibs, Chibs, mate, uh, 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 I want to point out the viewing fingers. They, they didn't, they went rare. Because the racists, the racists are everywhere. They can't stand it. They can't. But we're going to be standing in way and we're going to show them away. I said the vicar of Dibley. Oh, we're going to we're gonna be the moral compass for England. Oh, my vagina's so wet. Oh, I'm going to touch my thumb on Chris. Chris, yeah, control yourself, mate. In fact, Chip will uh, reveal the timeless child, uh, uh, child storyline uh, plan uh, before Jodie Whittaker was even announced as the 13th Doctor. Yes, we don't care who's going to be the 13th Doctor. We're just going to make sure there's not going to be so many white men who are the Doctor before dilute all those evil white men. When people were having opinions about the first female Doctor, I mean, well, well that's new. I, like, mostly people were supportive, right? I, I, again, I'm in fandom. I'm active in fandom. I've been in fandom, you know, pretty much all my adult life. Most of my child life as well. Uh, uh, and uh, 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 it was overwhelmingly positive when people were having opinions. Opinion. No, you had one or two people who, who, who saw the writing on the wall. And you proved to be completely correct. I thought, well, this is going to be interesting because they haven't even started yet. Oh, we knew. They knew. That's why they were having opinions, right? To see exactly how the Tyler's Child story continues, fans will have to be patient. Um, Chibnall told us that we'll have to uh, have to wait longer to see how it plays out. I, I, I'm going to tell you how it's going to play out. Uh, nobody's going to like it. It's going to be crap. It's going to get no viewers. And it's going to be... Uh, 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 I think we're looking at uh, uh, a run of the lowest rated Doctor Who of all time. You know what? It's going to be lowest rated because people don't like it. It's that freaking simple. People don't like it. Um, uh, pay that. Despite it being briefly touched on the festive special, uh, and overall it sounds like the arc is only just beginning. We know. Yes, we know you. But now, uh, but now we know we, uh, uh, we now we know actually began a long time ago. We knew that as well. We have to wonder what other secrets that Christian will be keeping us all the time. Well, you know, there's so many rumors about terrible things they're doing. Uh, uh, was he always planning a bit of yeah? Like, hey, he, was this a plan? I wonder. I wonder if yeah, if yeah, was a plan before we do it. Said, you know what? We're gonna have a fairly and brave women doctor today. But we're going to have a completely boring plank of wood as a companion. And we're going to call her Yaz. And she's going to be a policewoman. And she's going to be the bestest policewoman ever. I wonder if that was his initial plan. I, I would think. I would think probably. Um, what other uh, big twists are coming on next to Doctor Who? Who cares? This isn't Doctor Who. Okay? It's so bad. It decanalized itself. It, it overreached. It overshot. It gave itself bit of a reach round and, and you know what sadly sadly didn't really pay out didn't really pay out at all there you go so that's that that's a little bit of uh one from this from uh christian Hugh Fuller. my name is Phil beckon the rabbi from another planet please like share and subscribe ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop and do not forget to go check out my indiegogo and have yourselves a fantastic day yeah.